I think people that try to take our culture or try to find a fashion trend in it are really like cutting corners with it. Like it's very close to our hearts, but other people, they just think it like looks cool or it's like really bright or really colorful or like it looks edgy or something, but it's like a lot of hard work and a lot of creativity goes into it. And it's like generations of something that they're just like stealing from us. This is a drawing that my girlfriend made. Um, it's Rila Cano and Cisa Chavez. It was like my wall of used to be pinup life. That was like from when I used to play roller derby. Me and my boo. In high school, I used to be like hella about that pinup life. Wake up at like four in the morning and like do my hair in victory rolls and like all the makeup. Yeah, I'm studying fashion design. I'm double majoring actually in fashion design and Chicano studies. If I want something that's like really expensive, like I just come here and like pay dollar and I'm like, make it cooler and better and like how I would like it. They make outlets where everything's a dollar. For people that like even $5 is too much for a shirt. I just need to hem these because they're really short. Well, I'm really inspired by like people I see in my everyday life that I see like cutting corners and getting creative and finding out how to make something work and make something look good for not that much money. I just like super into the flamingos and like how bright it is. <laughs> I'm super inspired by like stuff I see my mom wear in old pictures. She has like a mole right here, so I draw it too. <laughs> like this is a glammed version of what we usually wear to the skate park. This is my street. I live like down the block. Gang violence goes up and then it comes back down and it goes up and right now it's on a rise. Like there's a lot of cool stuff down here too. It's not just all violence. Like, being from an immigrant family, it's kind of thrown in your face a lot. Like your family has traveled so far for you to have all these opportunities. It's kind of like um, something backhanded to like not succeed and not be successful. I think that's a main drive for me to like finish school and try to do everything like so fast. I got into skating when I was like a senior in high school and then I started playing derby and then I started skating parts. It's me! <laughs> Even has like my little broken nose. It's like a bedazzle dude him. My friend like had a photo shoot or something and she's like, this is not me. This is a very you. So she gave it to me. All this like my angel set because you just look like a sweet little angel wearing it. It's me making this outfit, like the whole process. This isn't actually my grandma, but it's a picture we found at the swap meet and that's literally exactly what she looks like. So we're like, maybe that's her. When I first got money, like my first thing that I bought was a Selena CD. Like I think I was like seven or eight. She's like super relatable, like someone you can really look up to, especially like when you're a little girl. Most of the people you're around are white and they don't understand you, like Selena understands you. Mom, as usual. Like I know I jacked that F from something I seen in my mom's. It took a lot for my family to come here and sacrifice their home and their language and everything for like me to be able to have opportunities and like grow. Things that I wanted to do, a video shoot, roller skating, roller uh, a skate park, <laughs> dress in cute outfits, dresses, shorts, and really cute stuff. We did that today!